I'm John Donalis. I'm a children's book author, illustrator, book designer and storyteller from Brisbane. I just hope that if you take one thing from, your, from my um, presentation today, that will be that we're all storytellers. The more we tell stories, the more we understand each other and the universe around us. I put this in on purpose to show you that I started out pretty much like you guys. I was probably just the average drawer in the class. And I practiced and practiced until I got to about the age of 30. And my first book came out, Uncle Lou's Tattoos. Now you can see from this illustration that I'm very much a cartoonist. I couldn't do a realistic drawing to save my life. Another thing that I hope kids get out of my, my presentations is that you shouldn't let things hold you back. When I was born, my eyes were completely cross-eyed. <laughs> I could stand here and look out that window with this eye and look out that window with that eye. I have a terrible sense of colour, I'm a completely messy person and the only thing I can really use is a black Nikko pen, but I haven't let that stop me creating stories. I've tried everything and in the end I've just decided this is the art material for me, a black pen and this is how I illustrate. I'm also probably Australia's worst speller and the kids love it when I share that with them. I know how to spell these things but I'm in such a hurry to try and get everything down, to get the cloud down onto the page before it disappears. You don't worry about neatness or spelling, that's what editing's for. You can tidy it all up later. I'll draw it and I'll trace it and I'll trace it and I'll trace it and after six tracings I'll get to a picture like that. And then after another six I'll get my black and white and then I'll finally get that. <coughs> There might, there's probably 12 drawings involved in getting to that point. It just didn't come out perfectly the first time. The recent journey into reconciliation, which is a story that I wrote, writing the black cockatoo, that's a wonderful story to share with children. I've been a bit of a scaredy cat. I haven't had much to do with Aboriginal people in this country. I was a bit scared of them, but I had to get on the phone and start talking to Aboriginal people and, and I had to say, look, my family's got all these things that don't belong to us and we would like to return them. And one of the elders said, we're going to come up and get them. We'll have a special corroboree to thank your family and you can hand them to us personally. And it was the most amazing journey of understanding. I recently handed the, the tribe um, the book wrapped in leaves and paper bark to be buried in tribal country and the Wamba Wamba tribe reciprocated with a beautiful story cloak. But the most amazing thing about this cloak is the story that it tells on the inside. Because the minute I decided that I was going to return these things, a black cockatoo with red tail feathers started appearing. And this is the magic bird of the Wamba Wamba people. It's their, their special lucky bird. And that's why the book's called Riding the Black Cockatoo. This whole experience is a wonderful thing to share with children. To wrap this cloak around children is to ra literally wrap them in country, wrap them in culture. and. Sometimes it's the tac tactile experiences that say so much more than words. Once children feel this cloak and they feel the warmth of this culture and the strong strength of this culture is something that they won't forget.